Taylor Lautner was a Hollywood magnet and tabloid fixture in the late thousands and early 2010s due to his portrayal as Jacob in the romantic fantasy franchise simply known as Twilight. But as the years progressed, he gradually pulled away from the spotlight, opting for a quieter life. Taylor Lautner got his start in Hollywood long before Twilight though. Many people might remember him as Shark Boy in The Adventures of Shark Boy and Lava Girl a widely popular children's film released in 2005. He also appeared in numerous small roles, such as The Bernie Mac Show and My Wife and Kids before breaking it big. In 2007, Lautner was cast as Jacob Black in the Twilight series after he auditioned with Kristen Stewart. He was only 16 years old. The first Twilight movie was released in 2008 and was a huge commercial attraction, grossing over $393 million worldwide. The movie would launch him and the entire cast to superstardom. There was only one question that mattered in the entire universe at that point in time, and that was Team Jacob or Edward. Even though responses were well for the film, Lautner was considered being dropped for the follow-up to Twilight because the director had a specific path he wanted the Jacob Black character to follow, with becoming a shapeshifter. This led Lautner to hit the gym, gaining muscle and completely reshaping his body so he could be more suited for the role. The second installment of Twilight, known as New Moon, would propel Twilight into becoming a cultural phenomenon, and Taylor Lautner became a teen heartthrob. The movie maximized the series even further, grossing over $709 million at the box office. With Taylor's rise to superstardom came a lot of unwanted focus on things besides his art, particularly his looks and body, which began to overshadow his acting very quickly. In 2010, he actively fought against his looks being the center focus when he had a role in the movie Valentine's Day. Originally, I was supposed to take off my shirt, Lautner explained in an interview with GQ. The script said we were walking into school and Willie takes off his shirt. I said, whoa, 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 time out. He's going to take off his shirt in the middle of school? No, no, no. The reason I took off my shirt for New Moon is because it's written in the book that way, and there's reasons behind it. Twilight would continue with Eclipse in 2010, Breaking Dawn Part 1 in 2011, and finally Breaking Dawn Part 2, which would close off the series in 2012. Right before the Twilight series would come to an end, Taylor would attempt to break away from the commodity and become a leading blockbuster figure with 2011's abduction, which was widely panned by critics. With all the benefits Twilight had for his career, it also had its setbacks. It seemed to have become bigger than him, and something he couldn't escape. His post-Twilight roles consisted of Grown Ups 2, and a few minor movies such as 2015's Tracers, and notably The Ridiculous Six, which is one of the few films to receive a rating of 0% on Rotten Tomatoes. So he did try to actively break away from Twilight, however it dwarfed him. And it can be challenging when you get such massive roles in general, but especially when you're a kid or very young. The entertainment industry has an obsession with youth, and many child stars have suffered typecasting and people only wanting to see them as their most popular character. Child stars such as Hilary Duff have been very open about being typecasted and people only wanting her to be Lizzie McGuire. I was like, I'm me, I'm Hilary, not that person. That's a made up person, Hilary told Bustle. It was a desire to be seen as a person outside of a character. By the time I was 18, I was like, if I hear that name Lizzie McGuire one more time. Other times, child stars will go through such drastic changes that it will completely shock the world. And I think Miley Cyrus is the modern prototype for this. Her bangers era received extensive media coverage and scrutiny. After being asked if she ever felt like ditching Hannah Montana while creating the show, she responded by saying, I did once, I was 18 because it felt ridiculous. The minute I had sex, I was kind of like, I can't put the f wig on again. It got weird. It just felt like I was grown up. What made Bangers much more shocking than the typical pop star is that she was Hannah Montana before it. She had to prove to the world that she was all grown up. Retrospectively, it makes a lot of sense why she went to the lengths she did. Hannah Montana was massive. Movies, multi-platinum albums, merchandise, 
and a teen cultural phenomenon. It would have been so easy to allow Hannah Montana to overshadow her, as it has happened with many child stars and their biggest character. In Lautner's case, from the beginning of his breakthrough, his body and looks became a tabloid fixture, and the fame that he received seemed to drive him away. I want to choose things that are different, he stated in an interview on Good Morning America when asked about roles shortly after Twilight. But ultimately, he went down a different path. He recently opened up about his struggle with sudden fame. When I was 16, 17, 18 years old, waking up and trying to just go out for a walk and go on a date, I've got 12 cars waiting outside my house to follow me wherever I'm going. Or you show up to an airport or anywhere and you've got thousands of fans screaming, he said. In the moment, it got frustrating because you just wanted to live a normal life. I went so many years either not leaving my house or if I did, you know, hat, sunglasses, and just scared, he said. It built up something inside of me where even if I didn't know it, I was scared to go out. I get super anxious to go out, so I just didn't. Not only did he struggle with the fame he achieved at a young age, but he also struggled with life after the Twilight phenomenon began to fade. When that's taken away from you, at all, you start to question yourself and start to be like, oh, do people not care about me anymore? It goes away a little bit, you notice it. And that's the dangerous part, because it can really mess with your mind. He didn't go to a grocery store or a mall for 10 years, and when he went out, he would always try to disguise himself. And he suffered from anxiety. After his initial success, he would eventually take time away from the spotlight. And these days, he is doing much better mentally. He is also engaged to a nurse named Taylor Dame, so when he gets married, her name will also be Taylor Lautner. According to him, being away from the spotlight and experiencing normalcy is something he needed to experience so that he could be a better version of himself. Taylor must have some good people in his corner, because we've seen numerous times where child actors are pushed despite complaints and they eventually burn out and it has serious long-term effects. So it's great that he was able to say, this doesn't make me comfortable, I need to get away from the spotlight, and was able to and did, and in the process renewed himself. Taylor Lautner has recently returned to the spotlight with renewed interest in acting, starring in the Netflix film Home Team, about NFL coach Sean Payton. So he hasn't completely given up on being visible, but for the time being he had to step away from the spotlight due to it making him uncomfortable.